Well, that's uh, a bit of a freebie. That's gone. That is very, very well handed. It's hit, uh, it's hit the rope on the ball. John Fire Jay for Cash in the end says that's six. Well, consistency is what's lacking. This Marilia starts with a full toss and hard to come by the boundary. A good shot that is going to go for four that is well played two men back and he picked the gap beautifully well he's going to have to play well here on in if pakistan are to set a good target winning target that is and he's played a magnificent shot sweep shot hit it spankingly hard in the air for some while but uh, it's hit very well in fact it's hit brilliantly that is an important boundary of the last ball the over eight runs coming from that 20 163 for six and another four to that nice shot by Yunus Khan he moves on to 47 of 60 balls and so it's turning out to be good important innings for him himself in Pakistan Nicely put away in the gap, wristy. The sweep shot will get him his 50. Lone hand played by Yunus Khan. An extraordinary effort. 15 50 in his 76 match. As we said earlier, he's never scored 100. a big one the arms go up so Yunus Khan is going to be the real uh, threat at this stage for Zimbabwe and they blink not it's gone up and taken safely taken at that so blink not getting a wicket the first ball that is bowled in this spell and Yunus Khan, on whom a lot depended, is now departing towards the dressing room. Time for a commentary change. Mike Hazeman with Tommy Mangwa. That's the wicket they needed. There was a chance that Pakistan were going to get a reasonable total here, but uh, Sean Irvin's the man down there at deep backward square. He takes the catch. Andy Flicknight back into the attack, so he's got an important breakthrough. And Yunus Khan goes for 67. And Pakistan now 203 for 7.